Come to change our lives forever, building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep, our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep, our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. You see, when you have the love of God on the inside of you, you know, if you're compelled by the love of God, there are certain things you will do. Yes. You will do things that focus towards pleasing the Lord. Amen. There's so much more coming your way in the month of July on your favorite devotional program. Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Kenya, all in East Africa, bring you God's word from the world's number one daily devotional, Rhapsody of Realities. From East Africa, we'll be reaching you with the number one daily devotional, Rhapsody of Realities. Inspiring you from day to day with insightful teachings and revelations contained in the Messenger Angel. The greater one lives on the inside of you. Therefore, you are an overcomer. Therefore, you are a winner. Listen to your favorite devotional in 14 different translations in Eastern Africa, weekend specials, and so much more. Stay tuned. The song we just sang is a beautiful song from the land of Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. The song was thanking Jesus for coming to die for us. Mm. It is a beautiful song. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uganda is a beautiful nation. It's naturally endowed with beautiful landscape, beautiful wildlife, and above all, we are so excited for the daily devotional, Rhapsody of Reality. This man from East Africa will be reaching you with the number one daily devotional, Rhapsody of Realities. Particularly from Uganda, throughout this week, we'll be sharing the word of God with you. And would love to take this great opportunity to thank Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita for the privilege to minister the word of God throughout the world. We'll take a short break. And when we come back, we'll take you through the day's devotional. Stay tuned. Join us in the month of July as East Africa plays host to your favorite devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Kenya. It's a celebration of God's Word. Stay tuned. Enjoy an awesome time studying God's Word with the world's number one daily devotional using the Rhapsody of Realities mobile application available for your iPad, iPhone, Blackberry, and Android mobile devices. To use the mobile app, get on the App Store suitable for your mobile device, whether it's the iTunes Store, Blackberry App World, or the Android market. Download the Rhapsody mobile app and then create an account. Log in with your new account and then make your purchase of the devotional by clicking on store. Choose the edition of Rhapsody of Realities you want to buy and voila! 
you're ready for an awesome experience with God's Word. Now, don't forget the added features on the app, your Bible study tool, the Rhapsody Web TV. You can share your testimonies on the app. You can also send in your prayer requests and so much more. It's a whole new world. So stay connected today. For more information, please call the number on the screen or send us an email to Rhapsody App Support at RhapsodyOfRealities.org. Welcome back, viewers. Today is Monday, July 2nd. Pastor Chris shares a very important thought with us. Pastor says, seek to please the Lord, not men. A very thought-provoking message, I must say, Julie. Mm, hallelujah. And the opening scripture is taken from Acts chapter 13, verse 22. And when he, God, had removed him, Saul, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Chris goes on to share with us today, what are the motives behind mm. your actions? Mm. Why do you do the things yes, yes, you do? Too. The motivation behind your aspirations matters. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Motives should be reasons behind everything that you do. Mm. What is the reason behind what every you step you take in your life? Every action you take in your life. Mm. What could be the reasons behind it? Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor goes on to share with us in the day's devotional. He says, writing to Timothy, his protege, the Apostle Paul made this remarkable statement. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who yes. have enabled me Hallelujah. for that he counted me faithful mm. putting me into the ministry mm. praise the lord hallelujah first timothy chapter 1 verse 12. Mm. this verse of scripture lets us know that paul was full of gratitude to the mm -hmm. one who had called mm -hmm. him for granting him the grace to, to be, be effective, effective in the ministry of reconciliation hallelujah this is what counts praise the lord the apostle paul mm. was one of the greatest apostles mm. he wrote so many books in the new testament mm. and in this scripture he is thanking christ for giving him the opportunity for doing what he was doing with his life hallelujah. praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. christ lord. should be the center and the very focus of why you do the things you do Definitely. because as you do them mm. you're striving to praise the lord hallelujah. hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah pastor continues to say you could live your whole life to be known of men to be famous and have lots of money and everything money can buy nevertheless if the gospel of Jesus Christ isn't uppermost in your heart as a compelling force in you, you've lived an empty, empty life. life. Oh, oh, oh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, when you're to look at, you know, some of the messages that pastor has, has taught, has ministered, for instance, the missionary Christian, pastor talks about the Christian on the mission. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And a Christian being on the mission, it's, it's that wherever you find yourself, yes. we ought to impact the lives in that place. Amen. So as we, as we impact the lives in that place, we are doing what is, what is pleasing to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Remember that one day the Bible says, we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Mm. And every one of us shall receive the things done in his body. Mm. We have been taught that Christian judgment will be for rewards. Mm. The things that you do with your life, with the right motives, as a Christian mm. in this world, you will receive rewards for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Praise Pastor goes on to say, then we shall see what our true motives were. Mm. Were you compelled by the love of God mm. or by the praise of men? Julie, there are so many people in the world today mm. doing the things they're doing with the wrong motives. Mm. They give what they give to charity. Their actions are full of eye service, mm. expecting to please men. Mm. But that should not be our motive in our lives. Mm. Pastor is telling us that we should seek to, to please, please the Lord, Lord. and not men. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, when you have the love of God on the inside of you, Amen. you know, if you're compelled by the love of God, there are certain things you will do. 
Yes. You do things that focus towards pleasing the Lord. Amen. For instance, you may be you may you may you may be doing a service in the house of the Lord and no one is seeing you. Mm. You may be a dramist, a drama in the house of the Lord. When the, when the people have been blessed with the word of God, that is what matters. Amen. No man may praise you, yes. but what matters is what is, God, what is God's report Hallelujah. concerning you. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. That is the most important thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris continues. He says, in your service to, to the Lord, contributions to society, relationships with other people, and even in your plans for the future, your aim should be to please, please the, the Lord. Lord and live up to his expectations, expectations of you. you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord you see, Jesus. We, Christ is in us.